Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Gennady and a card game. So for this problem we need a pack of 52 cards with suits and ranks. And at the start of the game we have one card placed on the table and then you're given five cards. And for you to play the game you have to make sure that at least one of your cards have the same rank or suit. So for example if the card on the table is AS, right? Then we can see that AD has at least one of the suits, right? So what we do is we print out yes, okay? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. It's fairly easy. Um, so let's go ahead and do some includes here. And I'm gonna do a stdio.h. And then uh, this uh, main, and we could just return zero here. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we need the card on the table. So let's create a character array here, and this is going to be card on table, and this is going to be three characters, and then we need one for our card, our cards in hand. And this is also going to be three characters. All right, and then they're going to be five of, you're going to have five cards in your hand. So we need an index to keep track of that. Uh, so the okay. index. All right, so the first thing I do is we got to take the card on the table. So let's use a scanf for that. We're going to do a percent %s and then um, card on table. All right, so now we can create a for loop to go over the cards in our hand. So we're gonna do index is going to be equal to zero and index is uh, less than or equal to four, All right? Um, plus plus index. All right, so what we're gonna do is take the current hand, the current uh, card in our hand and we gotta compare the indices, all right? Make sure that they actually match, at least one of the characters match. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do them vertically, and then uh, we're gonna do them horizontally, then we're gonna do them diagonally, so uh, both ends, all right? So for this, um, let's go ahead first and take our uh, second card. So we're gonna do scanf, and then uh, percent %s, and then we're gonna take the uh, card in hand, card in hand all right what am i doing all right so once we have that we're going to check we're going to do an if statement so we're going to say that if and let's just not this and we can use the zoo operator and we're going to say that if um so let's say um card in hand and we do zero right azor um, card on table, zero. Then um, if this returns a zero, means they're the same cards, then this is going to be true. But we gotta check for other ones as well. So let's copy this. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna or this, and I'm gonna put this on the next line, or you're gonna check the, the one spot right and they add another or then we're gonna check the so this is going to be vertical and diagonal right I mean vertical and so we're gonna check vertically right so we check zero and zero and then um, we check uh, one and one now we gotta do it vertically so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this here again and now what we're gonna do is check for zero and one, and then we're gonna check for uh, one and zero. So we're gonna check for, so let's check for, uh, so we check zero and one, and now we're gonna do one and zero. And if, if this is equal, so if this is true, then we're gonna go ahead and print yes. And 
and then we're going to return here. All right. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and print no. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. And if we type in AD, and then we type in like AC, it should just print out a yes. All right, so let's go ahead and um, copy this code. And we're gonna paste it on code forces. So go to the submit tab, scroll down, paste it and then um, submit. So this is it right here. All right, and it's been accepted. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, bye-bye.